All right, now let's bring in President of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitton, and former U.S. Attorney Joe DeGeneva. Guys, I, I know you've heard it before, but it, it's worth hearing again and again. Soundbite, Bill Barr, control room, roll it. If even half of it is true, then he's toast. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a very detailed indictment, uh, and it's very, very damning. And, and this idea of presenting Trump as a victim here, a victim of a witch hunt, uh, is ridiculous. All right, Tom, let me start with you, because I want to I get to this. Is he, Bill, first of all, we'll, we'll get to the politics of Bill Barr and why he's doing it, and why he's doing it on Fox, which is really interesting with no pushback. But it, is it damning? Is, is, is any of this stuff damning? Because all I'm hearing is this is stuff he should be able to do legally on his own, declassified. Tom, we'll start with you. You know, I, I'm, I'm no lawyer, but I've read this indictment carefully. Uh, Judicial Watch has uh, 30 years experience litigating records issues, presidential records issues, federal records issues. And I read this indictment and I didn't see any evidence of crimes. I saw allegations uh, related to holding documents that ignored the legal basis for his withholding documents. And I saw inferences from innocent conversations and confusing sets of circumstances of obstruction. And I didn't read even the, the allegations themselves to me, you know, and we're all supposed to kind of just fall down when the Justice Department issues a document. I think we should use our own, he our, you know, common sense when looking at these documents. I saw someone who was complaining about uh, an abusive process to his lawyers and objections does not is not the same as obstruction. So, 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 to so, me, so right, right. But, 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 you know, but if any of it is, it all could be true, and he's still innocent because they haven't shown any crimes. And, and, and Joe, let me throw this to you because you look at these things, and a lot of them are retaining documents. Okay, those may or may not be crimes. The, the the jury will let us know about that. But the one, the obstruction of justice, it seems like the one they threw in there because he moved documents. Joe, is this something? That could be the one that the, the Justice Department or the jury hangs their hat on. Sure. Uh, obstruction issues are always very, very delicious for the Justice Department because they believe that it shows a disrespect for the system and, an, and a consciousness of guilt. But here's the real issue. Why are we here? And the answer is we are here because somebody decided they were going to get Donald Trump. This is not about a real case. This is about upending the judicial process, the Department of Justice, and creating a, a case. This case didn't exist. The Department of Justice created this case. They've now changed the norms. They've gone after a former president for the first time in history. All of this should have been negotiated by the lawyers on both sides, and it wasn't. And I, I must say, I, I don't understand Bill Barr being so apparently delighted about this, because as somebody who appears to be an institutionalist, and I know Bill is, you don't like the Justice Department acting this way. They shouldn't have. This should have been never, ever been treated as a criminal case. It should have been negotiated. It should have been taken care of. And now, after 250 years, a corrupt Justice Department, politically corrupt, has decided it's going to change all the rules and try to convict a former president before he runs for re-election a Joe, third time. Um, Joe, may I ask you this and, and, and tell me? Uh, so he had documents, Biden had documents, Hillary had documents, you all had do documents. Does motive and intent come into play in, in the illegality of, of any of these accusations? Well, of course it does. And I think that the president and his lawyers will make an issue of that at the trial. They're going to raise a lot of issues such as the fact that he didn't share these documents with the foreign government. He didn't destroy any of these documents after they were subpoenaed by the government. The issue is, why is he there? And the answer is to prevent him from running for president. And I hope his lawyers make that an issue in this case. And I hope he gets a fair and impartial jury in Florida. He's certainly got a better get get a better jury in Florida than he would have gotten in the District of Columbia. You know, Tom. And, and you know, Eric, I, I, I testified before the grand jury for four hours and it, they weren't, you know, there are a few questions I guess they needed to check off in terms of, you know, potential criminal activity related to classified information and such. But most of the time was spent arguing 
with obviously partisan lawyers about policy debates. And after four hours, I thought, why am I being questioned on this First Amendment activity? So I saw firsthand that this was a politicized process. Uh, and this Justice Department, you know, everyone talks about the Clinton sock drawer case and the um, court decision that kind of suggests that there's significant deference to put mildly for a president to take and use documents as he sees fit when he leaves office. It's not so much that was the position of the court. It was the position of the Justice Department and the archives until Trump came around. You know, it's interesting. And to me, this was a setup. It's interesting, both they had of you no guys. Basis to ask for the records, and they and they set it up uh, so they could concoct and manufacture obstruction when, in fact, there was no obstruction. Absolutely. They left out the Absolutely. fact he cooperated and told Absolutely. the senior Justice Department official in his home. You can have whatever you want. And he directed his attorneys right in front of him, give them anything they want. That didn't make it into the indictment. This indictment is evidence of corruption. So, so, by so, the so allow me, Joe, final thought here is the difference between Joe Biden having documents in his garage and, and Donald Trump having them at Mar-a-Lago, a private residence with, by the way, Secret Service in the area, is the difference being that the way the documents were turned over? Is this, this is what this is all about, Joe? No, the difference is that Donald Trump is a Republican and Joe Biden is a Democrat. This is a corrupt Justice Department. Hillary Clinton was given a pass. James Comey was given a pass. All the people in the senior FBI were given a pass. All the CIA people who conspired to deny Donald Trump his civil rights were given a pass. This is about politics. This has nothing to do with the law. This is about politics. It's about Democrat versus Republican. And Jack Smith can say all he wants that this is that we're all equal under the law. Well, then guess what? Hillary Clinton got a pass and she got a pass because she's a Democrat. All right, we got to leave it there, guys. Really good having both of you on. Tom Fitton, Joe DiGenova, thank you very much for being here.